Hello everyone. Welcome to the online lecture of vehicle testing and homologation. I am Milan Trivedi, assistant professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the sixth chapter of vehicle testing and homologation that is vehicle testing on chassis dynamometer. This particular word dynamometer which we had already discussed under the second chapter of vehicle testing and homologation. We had already discussed that the dynamometer is used to find out the brake power. Indirectly, we need to measure the torque with the help of dynamometer and from the value of torque, we can get the value of brake power. But this Jesus dynamometer, the story is somewhat different. Apart from the brake, uh, brake power, we can evaluate the number of different parameters as well. So, we need to have a proper understanding of this Jesus dynamometer. So, let us just have an outlook that which are the different tests can happen along with this Jesus dynamometer. Normally, it is been said that Jesus dynamometer with the help of which you can measure the power which is available at the wheels. From the dynamometer, you can just have a brake power that is a power which is available at the engine shop. But whenever you want a power which is available at the wheels, you need to go for the Jesus dynamometer, right? But apart from that particular wheel power, we can get the number of different result as well along with it. The first one is the emission under load. At the different different load scenario of the vehicle, the different different uh, the weight on which of which you are keeping on the vehicle. How does the emission is that can be checked? Then the tune engine under load. Whenever you are loading the engine at a different different conditions, what is the behavior of the engine can be checked out. The base to speed for the specific torque can also be evaluated. You can have a proper graph of that particular speed versus torque, torque even whenever you are checking with the help of Jesus dynamometer. Apart from that, you can easily calibrate the engine. Next thing you can check is uh, investigate the combustion under the load. You can have an idea about the wear under the moving condition. Because in this particular scenario of Jesus dynamometer, we are keeping a vehicle steady at one place, but we are going to rep uh, try to replicate the scenario of real world conditions, such as uh, whenever you are driving on a real road condition, uh, then that kind of scenario would be produced inside the laboratory itself. Right, so you can have the idea about the wear under moving condition. Then you can have an idea about the maximum torque and the power at the different different speed. You can have a graph of that also along with it. Then you can check is the air fuel ratio. Normally we are having this two different kinds of Jesus dynamometer. These are the two types. The first one is for the two wheeler testing and the another one is of four wheeler testing. First of all, let us understand the two wheeler Jesus dynamometer. Normally, the Jesus dynamometer in structure appears like this. We are having one roller which is fixed inside, above which we are having this kind of plates on which the vehicle can be mounted. Another at the end of that, you will find this kind of stopper which will be placed on that. This stopper will just lock the front wheel of the two wheeler and the rear wheel of the vehicle would be mounted on this particular roller. So, what actually will happen is whenever you will accelerate the vehicle that rear wheel will try to roll this particular bottom roller. Now, to this particular bottom roller the normal dynamometer would be coupled. So normal dynamometer can be a prony brake, rope brake, hydraulic or eddy current dynamometer. So, that dynamometer would actually measure the torque which is available at this particular roller. But the roller is having torque from the wheel. So, ultimately you are actually getting the torque which is available at the wheels with the help of this kind of particular arrangement. But apart from that, if you attach number of different components even you can have a different different results. This is a stopper, the another end part is having a roller which is actually on which the rear wheel of the two wheeler would be mounted. It would be coupled with this kind of dynamometer which will give you the value of the power which is available at this roller and the roller is having power from the particular wheel. So, in this particular way we are getting the value of power switches available at the wheel. But 
just have a look that along with this particular small setup, if you attach a number of different components, even you can have a variety of result. This is just a real view picture of this kind of two wheeler chases dynamometer. We are having one stopper and the back side this roller on roller we are mounting this particular rear wheel. But you will notice that we are having number of different attachments along with it. So, from the even with the help of this particular dynamometer you can also attach number of other devices. You can have a attachment of the exhaust gas analyzer, you can have attachment of fuel analysis meters, you can check the fuel consumption, you can check the exhaust gases, you can have a value of vibrations at the different different parts. So, number of different parameters can be evaluated right. This again one practical setup of this two wheeler kind of chassis dynamometer on screen you will get a number of num different different readings. The different taste related to the engine is also been discussed under the second chapter. So, that kind of taste you can have such as this uh, smoke meter through smoke meter you can have a value of smoke density. Through this particular exhaust gas analyzer you can have a volume of different different gases. Along with that you can have this uh, PS through which you can measure amount the sound which has been generated right. So, you can have number of different different attachments because we are actually replicating the real world condition inside our laboratory right. So, you can have this different attachment and have a different different reading. So, uh, this is all about the two wheeler chassis dynamometer. This is just one kind of two wheeler chassis dynamometer in which you just in order to accelerate also we are having some provision. So, from the remote location itself you can just drive the vehicle. Now, let us discuss the second category that is a four wheeler chassis dynamometer particularly to check the power which is available at the four wheels, we are do using this kind of four wheeler chassis dynamometer. A car would be mounted on a big rollers. Apart from that at the front section of this particular vehicle, we are having this kind of uh, cooling devices just because in the real world condition we are actually crossing the wind and that the front portion would actually cooling the engine part. So, that part is actually required. So, we are having this cooling fan at the front section and all if it is a four wheel drive then all the four rollers would be driven by this particular car wheels and if it is two wheel drive. So, then in such scenario we are having only two rollers on which the driving wheels would be mounted and the front rollers would be mounted on just a stopper. So, this rollers would be rotated which has been coupled to the normal dynamometer and through which we can get the value of torque which is available at the wheels part. You can have a this kind of screen view which can give you the different different readings. You can have a, a value of rpm through the tachometer. This horsepower can be easily measured with the help of normal dynamometer which is coupled to the roller. The normal dynamometer again can be any of that eddy current or hydraulic kind of dynamometer. Uh, apart from that you can have the uh, value of mileage even with the help of this kind of setup. This is just uh, another view in which the number of different different devices is also been mounted. Along with that you can have a check with the ECU. Now, most of the cars are even coming with the electronic control unit. So, you can have fetch the data of that particular ECU uh, on some of the software and you can have a comparison with the real result. But one thing we need to take into account whenever we are doing this in house testing, we are actually having a, a control over the ambient condition means the surrounding temperature pressure is actually monitored or kept at certain specific quantity. Temperature is normally been kept of 283 to 313 Kelvin, pressure is been kept of 80 to 100. KPA and the atmosphere is having a dry pressure of 99 KPA and tar must be in the cold condition. We need to start from the cold condition. Vehicle should not be driven and it can be taken directly into the lab. It must be having a cold tire condition. So, just this is a normal practice just before starting this kind of chassis dynamometer testing. So, that is all about this. Thanks for watching.